Today we're gonna to be buying out every single specific kind of fish from the fish store, and you guys will see what I got very soon. Hopefully that makes sense to you guys. Well, that was the fastest $300 I think I've ever spent in my life. This is not gonna work here, okay? Let's start with the big bag and get the big bag of fish out of the way. Look how cool those things are, dude. They're so cool. Well, I've been getting a lot of comments about a specific fish for the mini pond or the mini ponds, the other one in the garage. And today we're gonna be doing it. We're gonna be getting, I don't know what the store's gonna have. They could have some wild stuff there and I'll just end up getting that. But I do have one specific fish on my mind that we could get like a ton of those and they would look amazing in the pond. So we're gonna see what they got i don't really know what they have I, they definitely did get their shipment today though so they could have some wild stuff and if they do have wild stuff i'm most likely gonna buy the wild stuff because i'm fish guy chris and that's what i do but you never know we shall see we shall see now, if you guys haven't already checked out the new hat so this is our brand new hat that, we're, that we just dropped this week we have so many things in the pipeline. The hat designs are a little easier, but the shirt designs are coming along really nice. We have some really cool ones dropping for you guys. So once again, if you guys want to support the ocean and us and the fish guys, go to shopfishguy.com. Now, hopefully this store has some good stuff. We shall see. Well, that was the fastest $300 I think I've ever spent in my life. <sighs> Me and Brooke walked in, we saw our fish. We said, we'll take a hundred. And we literally bought every single specific fish that I bought. We bought every single one plus more at the store. We literally wiped the whole tank clean of these guys. And we got a lot of fish to add. I just don't know where I'm gonna put them in the new mini pond or the, or the outside mini pond. I don't know. We have a lot of thinking to do on the way home. This should be cool though. It should be really, really cool to see. And now that we're home, I do wanna talk to you guys about this mini pond, the one I just set up. But first, here's a quick word from our amazing sponsor today. So I quickly have to mention today's sponsor, Harry's. Now, if you're looking for a smooth, clean, and comfortable shave, Harry's has you absolutely covered. I like to shave once a week, and every time I use this razor, it's just as good as the first time. Now, I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I really dread the day I have to shave. But ever since I switched over to the Harry's razor, the blades are just so sharp, it feels effortless, and now I actually look forward to it. I got the starter set, which actually comes with a five blade razor, a weighted texture handle, some shave cream, and a travel blade cover. Now you guys should definitely give it a try and they have a 100% money back guarantee, so there's nothing to lose. You guys dread shaving like I used to, you gotta switch over to Harry's. I used to use an electric razor and it wasn't the closest shave, but ever since I switched over to the five blade Harry's razor, it's, it's insane. It's so nice and I actually enjoy shave time. You can click the link in my description to try the trial set for just $5 a $13 value for just five bucks. Go ahead, go give it a try. So click the link in my description and give Harry's a try. Now let's get back into today's video. Well, now that we're back, I really was giving this pond a couple days to like settle in and see how it would work. This is not gonna work here, okay? It's not gonna work. I really, I tried it, but a lot of you guys were commenting about the bowing and then how it's not gonna work on the pond. I tried with these center blocks here and it was going well for a while, but right here at this lip, it's just not gonna work there. So what we're gonna do is I found it's, it's up to you guys if you guys want me to do this. So you guys know and love that outside, the outdoor mini pond, the one with the two windows. It's a fan favorite on the channel. And there is another one from the same company that would fit perfectly in the exact dimensions. So just like the wooden one, it has windows and it's, it's really pretty looking and it would come exactly right to the edge of this, all the way down, perfect. It would fit perfectly in that spot and it has a window and everything. It's not the same shape as the other one. It's a rectangle, so it's perfect, but it would look super cool. I'm gonna throw some clips on the screen so you guys can check it out and see what it looks like and see what I'm talking about. That mini pond right there. That is the only mini pond option that would fit in that spot perfectly. This one's a little bit too big and the other one I think would fit just amazing. So if you guys wanna see another one of those in here for a specific kind of fish, you let me know by dropping a like on this video. This video gets like 5,000 likes. We'll keep it nice and simple, 5,000 likes. I will get that literally this month. And we'll set that thing up, another mini pond for you guys because this one's not gonna work. I tried, I gave it my all for this one. It's just, it's just too, Flimsy. Maybe we can repurpose this one though. How about 5,000 likes for the mini pond and 10,000 to actually put this one in the ground, like right there, and keep it salt water? That would be pretty cool. So I don't know. You guys let me know what you think in the comments. We'll make that happen. All right, guys, we are back from the fish store and we got our fish in the bag. You guys are gonna be super pumped when you see them. Now check out the pond. It is completely shaded right now. This is what it looks like in the shade. So, it's, so it is completely, has no sunlight. As you can see, it's getting a little bit green. There's some algae in here, but I need to do full water change. I need to do a big cleaning. I know how to do it, 100%. I know exactly how to clean this thing, but I was just showing you guys what it's like having a saltwater pond in the sun is you're gonna get some green algae, which is totally fine, totally healthy. 
healthy. But, but me cleaning it would be super easy. Just get a siphon in there, shake all that sand around, do a big water change, and then I'm gonna throw a really nice UV sterilizer on this thing, and it's gonna, just gonna make it a lot easier to handle. But even so, I kind of like the little green hint to it. It shows you that it's a nice, healthy coral reef right there, baby. So I notice every time it's shaded, all the fish kind of like chill and high. There's the purple tang right there. He's not swimming around too much when it's shaded. He just chills, and then the pipe fish is right there, hanging right under that rock, which he's actually so sick, and he's doing so well. It's crazy. I didn't, I didn't realize how cool that thing would be in the pond, but he's so cool. That thing is the weirdest fish in the world, but he's just so cool. I absolutely love him. And we're gonna be adding a lot of fish to the pond today. It's gonna really, really brighten it up because these are some brightly colored fish. I'm super pumped to show you guys what I got. So we got three different bags of fish. We have one big bag with a ton of fish in it, and we have two smaller bags with some really cool specific fish in there. So let's start with the big bag and get the big bag of fish out of the way so we can throw it, throw them all in the pond and see them all swim around. It's gonna be epic. So let's grab our big bag out of the bag. Okay, here we go. This is gonna be so cool to add. You guys have been commenting the, to get these fish for so long. Every time I read the comments, it's always, I always see at least 10 comments saying, you gotta get these fish for the pond. It looks so good. And I think you guys are gonna be right. So check these guys out right here. That is five or six, right? Six clownfish right there. I'm not sure exactly the name, but look how cool those things are, dude. They're so cool. Clownfish are epic. Clownfish are so cool. And it's gonna brighten up the pond like crazy. I mean, look at those colors. You can't even really see them in the bag because it's a pretty big bag. But once we pour them in here, you guys are gonna be to really, really enjoy them. Clownfish are sick. I absolutely love clownfish. Who doesn't love clownfish? They're so cool, especially because their colors are just so, so insanely cool. They're gonna look so good in here. So I'm just gonna pour a little water in here. We're gonna use this bowl instead of our cube today. So you guys can see them from up top. And now I'm gonna net them out. All right, let's get our clowns out of here. These things are so cool, bro. Look at them from the bag. That's sick. <laughs> I actually really like clownfish. Now they all have different unique patterns to them. So I got a variety. I'll get them all in the net there. That's sick. That is so sick, dude. Look at that. Look at that, dude. Six clowns. Let's go. That's so cool. Oh my God, that is so cool. I'm fired up about that. Six clownfish is our first bag of the day. Six clownfish is the first bag of the day. They are just so cool in here guys that's just so cool and they're gonna love that big enemy in the pond they're gonna absolutely just love being in there and making that their new home it's so sick this one's like kind of darker orange we got some lighter orange ones here and they do have unique patterns but you know clownfish these guys will look the same the other two the other two bags that we have are very different and unique and they're gonna be epic i cannot wait to show you guys those guys but see this guy has like only two stripes one big one in the middle that one's got three so yeah, they look similar, but some of them are different and very unique. Let's see if we can pick up the big one for you guys. So you guys can check them out. Look at that. That is so cool. That is so cool, dude. That's just insanely cool. I can't wait to put them in. Let's get these guys acclimated and get them in the pond. All right, here we go, guys. This is gonna be so cool. I'm gonna try to put them near the rocks. So maybe they'll find that an enemy. But let's see these guys in action here. Ready? That is so dope, dude. Let's go. That's epic. Look at our six clownfish. That's the first bag of the day. We got six clownfish in the pond. That is so cool. It's gonna look a lot better when the, when the sun's coming through the glass and I get some light on this, so stay tuned. I'm gonna throw some clips of that. But they just look fantastic in here. And once they're comfortable, they're gonna be amazing. All right, bag number two, ladies and gentlemen, it's gonna be really cool. Those things are so freaking dope. I actually am pumped. We gotta get way more. I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna, these guys when I used to go to the store, they used to be $12 back like, I don't know, four years ago. And now that those, and now they're like 22 bucks each guys. And I got six right there and two more very special ones in the bag, but they already look amazing in the pond. They're swimming around, they're chilling. They're gonna find their spots. I wanna see if they're gonna find that anemone and go inside there. They're chick, they're hanging out right next to it. So I'm kind of curious if they're gonna swim in there. They look like they're about to do it. They look like they're about to do it, Brooke. Not even kidding. They're all sitting right next to it, but let's keep it sharp eye on them while we while we open our next bags obviously because we gotta we really i gotta capture that when they go into that enemy i think they might be going into it right, right now bro <gasps> they're going into it they're scoping out the area we gotta keep an eye on them throughout this whole video that's gonna be so cool when they go in there guys that is unbelievably epic guys oh my god okay so let's get our next bag out which one do i want to show you guys first Let's do this guy first, and then we're gonna do the super rare one at the end. So this is our next bag, which I made sure all these guys can go together, but this right here is a black clownfish, and he is sick. 
Look at that. You can't really see him good in the bag, so obviously let's get him in the bowl, but this guy is a straight up black, white with an orange face. That is sick. So I wanted to obviously have our main clownfish and then a couple ones that are really unique and really rare in the in the bunch here. So it's just gonna look so good at the end. Let's get this guy in the, in the bowl here. Dude, they're hanging out right next to that enemy. They really wanna go in there. This guy's kind of big too. So he's probably gonna be the alpha of the of the group. They're, clownfish are weird. They, they fight. You gotta just always keep a sharp eye on clownfish. Check this guy out right here. That is sick. That is so cool. Look at that clownfish. That's epic. Big white stripes to contrast that black body of the clownfish and then that orange head. It's just so damn cute. He's gonna be the leader of this crew. I'm telling you right now, I think he's gonna be the leader. This guy's definitely bigger than those ones. He's a little bit bigger than the biggest one in the first bunch. So usually the big ones are the ones that lead the group. And those clowns are staying right by that anemone and I, I really wanna see that. But this guy is really, really cool. I wanted to have a couple in there that are, gonna, that are gonna pop and really stand out. So we're gonna have our main army of clownfish and then a couple ones that are really, really just gonna pop. All right, now to go along with our other clownfish, let's get this guy in there as well. The whole crew is chilling right by the anemone but they have not committed yet. So this guy, let's get the old big boy in the pond. Here we go, ready? That is so sick, dude. Go on, there he goes, let's go baby. And he's chilling right with the boys. Look at that, he's chilling right with the boys. He goes right with the crew. And it's like, hey, I wanna chill with you guys, man. I'm all alone, so let me join, let me join the gang. And there he is, that is sick. So as you can see, obviously he stands out like a sore thumb with that big crew of clownfish. And that's what I wanted. I wanted a couple to be really unique that we can pick out right away, right when we look at the pond, we can say, oh, those are the two special ones. In with the clown army. Oh, they're in. That one just ventured in. That one just ventured in, but now, then he swam back out. The firefish is loving this. That one's like, damn, I got some boys. He's, he's, he thinks he's a clownfish, dude. <laughs> that thing thinks he's a clownfish. He's chilling with everybody right there. That's freaking hilarious. Now let's get into our last bag. This guy's really cool. A very, very dope clownfish. Here we go. So our other one that you can pick out is obviously the big black one in there. And now we have big, I think this guy's called a frostbite or something. A big white one. So this guy's got pretty much mostly white color. So we have a one with mostly black color, one with mostly white color, and then a whole crew of just normal clowns. So this guy is absolutely sick. I think it's a frostbite, I'm not sure. There's so many different clowns. There's like a million different like names for different kinds of clowns that have one little thing different about one of them and then they make a whole new name for it. So I made sure at the store that all these guys can go together even though they look different because they're all Ocellaris clownfish. That's what they got, that's what they're called. They're called Ocellaris, Ocellaris. They can all go together and they will not beat each other up because mostly, like if I put a maroon clown in there, he would just beat everybody up because that's like a different kind of clown or something. And maroons are mean, we've had, we've had maroons in the past. They are very mean. So that's why I didn't get, they had a nice maroon there. It was really cool, but I did not get him because they're mean. So we're going with these guys. Check out that frostbite right there. So cool, get him in the bowl there. So sick. That's gonna be my favorite one for sure. I definitely picked him out. When I saw him at the store, I'm like, this guy's coming home with us 100%. So this guy's definitely my favorite one. He's super cool. Got that, once again, just like the other ones, the orange face, but then his whole body's a different color. So this guy's straight up white, super cool. I saw some other really cool ones that are like, Stormtrooper ones they're called. They're storm storm clowns. Those are sick. I want definitely if I can get those with these guys, I'm definitely want to add some of those in here. But let's let's get this guy in the pond and see if uh, he's gonna go swim with the boys. Here's our boy, our white clown, which is so sick. Look at that guy. That's I, this is my favorite one. He's so cool. Drop your favorite one down in the comments. That guy is sick and he goes right with the boys. It's so crazy how they know, they know. This is my gang, this is my crew. I'm going swimming with them, I'm gonna join them. But look at all of our clownfish, they all look fantastic. I'm gonna keep a sharp and very close eye on them to see if they're gonna swim in that anemone. A couple of them have swam into it and really just checked it out and then swam back out. But eventually, you give it a couple hours, even a day, and they're all gonna be in there. Like every single one of them will be in that giant anemone and it's gonna look fan flippity tastic. Watch this right here guys. I'm gonna try to feed the boys. Try to feed the boys here. They're all over there for some reason. They're all over there, but let's try to toss it. Yeah, let's just try to feed them right here. I wanna bring them up to the surface. Let's see what they're gonna do. Threw some pellets in there. Let's go, they're grubbing already. That is sick, dude. Look at them. That frostbite or whatever kind of clownfish that is is absolutely sick. All of them are chilling together. They're already eating. They've been in here for just a little bit and they're already eating. Look at this guy going crazy in the back there. They clearly love to eat. 
That is so cool. The black one's all the way over here, just chilling by himself. You gotta find your food, brother. Go find yourself a nice meal over here. But these guys are absolutely living large in the corner here, chilling all together. I think we need about 50 more. This was a good trial run. Got 10 total clownfish or eight total clownfish today. And I think we need many more. Drop a like on this video if you guys think I should get. Literally not kidding. I actually bought every single clownfish they had at the store, so I couldn't even have gotten more. But I think we need about, I think we need about 50 in this pond. Drop a like if you guys think I should do it. Comment down below if you guys have any cool suggestions of other different clowns I can get. Drop the names down there and I'll look it up because I know there's a ton of different clowns in the world. So drop them in the comments and anything that can work with these guys where they won't fight, I will check them out and definitely get them if you guys want me to do that. The pond looks amazing, it's coming along so far. I'm about to do a giant maintenance day today. I'm gonna clean everything so it looks spick and span. And that is my rest of the day looking like it is 10 a.m. And probably for the rest of the day, I'm gonna focus solely on getting this pond nice and clean and maybe get a UV sterilizer on this guy. That would be phenomenal. But the pond's looking great. The fish are healthy. The fish are doing fantastic. Everyone's thriving in here. They're eating every day. I love feeding them every day. And thank you guys for watching and enjoying this series. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I hope you guys like the clownfish. I think they're really cool. Shout out to the dogs across the street. Perfect timing. I'll see you in the next one, guys. Peace.